few of the issues that came up right off the bat, um, definition of topsoil. Depending on who you talk to and which landscaper you talk to, topsoil means different things to different people. Even within the city of Surrey, we have the engineering department. We use topsoil on our boulevards. It's a different topsoil than the parks guys use when they do parks. And they use different topsoil on their soccer pitches than they would in their natural areas. So right away, we knew we had to set up specs that would be consistent with the land use that's being proposed. Um, MMCD is currently reviewing that. We'd hope that they'd be further along so we could actually use the MMCD spec to refer, have something to refer to and say that's the one we want to use. Um, they're not there yet. We will likely link our Surrey Parks spec to the, the primer. So it's, it's 10 pages plus all the links leading to the different specs for different land uses. Um, the point here is that it's the important is the fact is not there. The, the important point is not that there's different specs, is that there are different specs for different uses, as long as you have one for your different areas and people reflect and use those. They don't just randomly order soil from Home Depot and throw it on the lawn. We've had some significant failures um, because of this where people put soil that's way too high and, and organic content, it, it essentially turns into a swamp and they come in and fill it with something else. So that's something to keep in mind. You want to get the soil that can drain properly and that could be structurally sound enough to meet your objectives. 